Hello stars, welcome to a new video. In this video, I want to test out an idea. In one of the videos I posted two years ago, I built a radio telegraph that could send small messages over a distance of 100 meters. Now, if we build an amplifier for our transmitter module, can we increase the 100 meter range? Stay with me to find out. Just like in the previous video, I'm going to work with the 433 MHz transmitter and receiver modules. To make it easier to read the data sent by the transmitter, I'll be using an OLED display. Like this. But before I set up the transmitter circuit, let me first test the receiver using the digital transmitter I built for my client. As you can see, it's working great. Also, if you want to work with this type of display, I'll be adding a video about the TM1637 module in the description. Be sure to check it out, it's really helpful. And lastly, I want to give a huge thanks to my awesome sponsor, PCBWay, for supporting all the projects I share with you on this channel. PCBWay offers the best custom PCB prototyping service. You can get Instant Squad for any of their services with minimum quantity requirements. They also offer CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, and more. Their website and Instagram page are in the description below this video. Check them out for more information. Now, I need to prepare the transmitter circuit, but as I mentioned earlier, I want to build an amplifier for it, a four-stage amplifier using four transistors. This idea goes back a few months when I built an FM transmitter. If you take a look at the circuit diagram of that transmitter, you'll see that there's an amplifier included. This is a voltage amplifier because the output is taken from the transistor's collector. However, what we need is a current amplifier, so I'll be using a Darlington pair amplifier for that. To build this amplifier, I'll be using thick wires and a high power regulator. Alright, I've got the circuit ready. As you can see, I've connected the transmitter's antenna to the input of the amplifier, and the output of the amplifier is connected to this telescopic antenna. Now, let's see the results together. I had to use Arduino Uno. Let me power on the receiver. I've written the transmitter code to send a specific signal every 5 seconds, and the receiver should display that signal after 5 seconds. But it's not showing up. Maybe my transmitter is damaged. So I'm going to set up another transmitter in parallel on the circuit to see what happens. As you can see, the code is being displayed now. So the transmitter must be the issue. Now, I've swapped the transmitter, but I haven't connected it to the amplifier yet. First, I'll turn on the transmitter. Then power up the microcontroller. See? It's working. Let me power off and on the receiver again. All good, everything's working now. The conclusion is that the previous transmitter was damaged. Now, let's move on to the distance test. Because of the issue I mentioned in the previous video, I'm doing this test at night. I've placed the transmitter in a fixed position, and while watching the receiver's display, I'm moving farther away from the transmitter. Right now, I'm 50 meters away, and as you can see, no signal is being received. I'll gradually reduce the distance. At 30 meters, I was able to receive the signal. 30 meters? That's pretty short. In the previous video, I used GSM antennas, so I think it's a good idea to give them another try. Let's go ahead and test them again. I've placed the transmitter in a fixed position again, and now, from a distance of 20 meters, I'm receiving the signal. Let me move further. Now I'm at 30 meters, and the signal is coming through fine. I'm at 50 meters now. 60 meters. 70 meters. Now, I'm exactly at 100 meters, the same distance I was at in the previous video. Let me move a little further. Now I'm at 130 meters, and the signal is no longer coming through. 
So, what we can conclude is that the signal booster has had an effect, but not as much as I expected. It's possible that these transistors might not be suitable for this frequency. In any case, you can try this idea out for yourself and share your results with me. Finally, please like this video and let me know in the comments whether you think this idea worked or not. Thank you for watching.